my profession as an architect is a creative profession. You know, we're creating from drawings, from paper, pens, pencil lines. It also is hemmed by the limitations of regulations, client demands, and deadlines. And I think being able to get in the Camaro and leave all that stuff behind, again, all of that work stuff, it's just gone, and your complete focus is on the car. There is sort of an endless possibility. I mean, we're fortunate that we live in an area with a lot of nice roads, and I can just point those tires in any direction and just go. The car is a 1967 Chevy Camaro. It's a base coupe. It was an early edition. I think it rolled off the assembly line in October of 1966 out of Van Nuys, California, so it's a local car. One day I went along with a friend um, to help him dig out some unknown car out of a garage where it was covered with 15 years worth of debris and boxes and dust. But when we did uncover it, I figured that's it, that car's coming home with me, this is my car. My intention with the car was never to restore it, bring it off showroom quality. Um, I want to drive the car, so I don't want to be afraid to take it out, I don't want to worry about a dent or a scratch or any of that stuff. It shimmies, it feels every little deviation in the road. You really have to pay attention, you have to focus on driving. Where the newer cars, you can almost relax, and now in some cases, the car will drive itself. And I think the Camaro is really the antithesis of what some of those things are. Reviving this car really brought me back to an earlier time in my life. I know it's not perfect, but that's the point. I'm driving a full-size Hot Wheel as far as I'm concerned. You know, it's gold, metallic. It's the real thing, you know. I'm not pushing it around with my fingers, you know. I'm pushing it around with my feet. My name is Jim Gelfat, and this is why I drive.